Last uh, month, we passed resolution number 109488 requesting our congressional delegation to call for an independent bipartisan investigation of the failure of the federal uh, levy system. Uh, we've had so many um, civic organizations come to the forefront after Katrina that have really changed, uh, you know, the future of the metropolitan area. Sandy's organization is one of those. Uh, so, Sandy, if you could briefly just tell us what your mission is right now and where you stand and what you're trying to do. Thank you, Councilwoman. Um, after the storm, um, we felt that it would be very important to have a truly irrefutable, non-controversial analysis of the flood protection failures. And I want to thank the Council because by supporting a resolution for the, what's called the 829 Investigation Act, uh, Jefferson Parish has joined with St. Tammany Parish, St. Bernard Parish, and the City of New Orleans in, um, in uh, supporting this resolution, which is very important to not just the people of Southeast Louisiana, but the taxpayers of the nation as well. The only official investigation that's been done about the flood protection failures was conducted by the same organization responsible for its performance. The, inter the Interagency Performance Task Force was composed of 80% core officials. The, uh, every chapter was either chaired or co-chaired by a core employee, and of the top three leaders, two worked for the core, and one was a career core employee who retired in 2002. Well, if that weren't enough, uh, the Corps of Engineers, the White House, and even Donald Powell has defended th that conflict of interest by saying, well, there's, there was an expert review panel. However, the Corps chose who would do that expert review, paid them, and gave them all medals of honor even before the final results were released to the public. In October, on October 30th, an esteemed member of the American Society of Civil Engineers came forward with a 42-page ethics complaint uh, that detailed an early plan where the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers colluded and conspired with the American Society of Civil Engineers to cover up the mistakes of the Corps and to, and to uh, intimidate anyone who tried to intervene. Uh, and then, last but not least, I hope the members of this council and everyone in this room saw the adorable little video that Levy.org created spoofing the relationship, that cozy relationship that we felt existed between the Corps of Engineers and the American Society of Civil Engineers. That little spoof so frightened the American Society of Civil Engineers that they threatened us, a little grassroots group, and a bunch of high school kids with legal action if we did not pull it. Well, luckily there are lo laws present preventing big powerful organizations from silencing uh, individuals who are simply speaking out in protection of the public good. The Investigation Act, the 829 Investigation Act, if it becomes law, uh, and it's a good thing that uh, we have this broad support in, the, in Metro New Orleans, it will simply be an analysis by people who are impartial, non-objective, look at the data already collected. These people will have never worked for the Corps, never do work for the Corps now, and never will in the future. That way, we'll get an, an irrefutable, non-controversial analysis of the flood protection failures, looking at not just the engineering, but also looking at the role of the Mr. Go in the flooding, the role of the disappearing coastline. It'll also look at uh, policy, both state, federal, and local. For example, it will ask questions like, why, in the state of Louisiana, does a contractor uh, working on a federal project, why is he exempt from being licensed? These and many other things will be examined. Uh, thank you, Council, for uh, the entire Council for unanimous passage of uh, this resolution in, in support of the 829 Investigation Act. Thank you. Councilman Sneed. Thank you very much for coming today, and we were happy to, to support that at the last meeting. And I want you to know how important this is. At this time in a meeting, most people are talking, looking at their watch, and while you were speaking, I was looking around, and everyone was in rapt attention listening to everything that you said. So it goes to show how important the work is that you and your organization are doing uh, when you have a group at lunchtime all completely focused on every word you're saying. So thank you for your hard work and your organization's work, and thank you for coming and, and updating us. 